Today we ask the age old question. Will it pizza? Let's talk about that. Good mythical morning. Well, it's been a while since we found out if something will, <laughs> so let's find out today. Should we? We should. A lot of you have suggested, will it pizza? And uh, okay, we have basically the worst pizza party ever just out of frame over here. The smell alone. That we are going to uh, enjoy for your sake. Um, so let's get right into it and answer the question. Will it pizza? I, for one, am excited about this first pizza. Yeah, I th I thought we could start in a place that you would think you were gonna be excited. Yeah, the comfort zone. Your favorite food, beans. Yeah. Beans. beans. Will it pizza? Okay, so here we go. On the Good Mythical Morning pizza plank, we have um, a lot of beans. Bean pizza, so it's a normal crust. Most of all of these are going to be normal crust. The sauce is refried beans. Of course. The cheese is mozzarella cheese. Why not? And then we've thrown everything that has the word bean in the title. I see green beans, kitty beans, uh, black, black, black beans. beans, white beans, butter beans. Is that that's like a lima bean? Lima I don't care. Bean. I love beans. This is like a fart pie. All right. Let's dig in here. You want a toast? Just we this, don't have to do that. Just this one. Just this one. Time. Just the first one. All right, here we go. Breaking the seal. Mm. Some, can, are, some are crunchier than others. I can feel the fiber forming right now. <laughs> you know, that is not bad at all for a guy who likes beans. I don't have anything to say about it. I mean, it's just beans on a pizza. Yeah, I mean, you're pretty much perfect, right? Well, let my lower GI weigh in a little bit later. I would take another bite, but I got a few pizzas left, so. Uh, it's a superfood, right? Yeah, definitely. Okay, will it pizza? Yes. yes. Okay, it's pretty common to have uh, a carb heavy side, you know, that yes. they like to sell like breadsticks with pizza and stuff Which like makes that. Makes little sense to me. Reach but. in a bag. Well, uh, why not a musical instrument that also doubles as a snack? The bugle. Bugles. Bugles. Will it pizza? Bring in the bugles. <laughs> now this looks dangerous. I've burned the roof of my mouth on a pizza before, but I've never punctured it. This looks like something you'd find at the bottom of the ocean. <laughs> yeah, it's like kind of like, moving and a fish goes over it and then it stings it. I can definitely anticipate some crunch. Now if it goes up through the roof of my mouth, it, it could kill me. It'll hit your brain. Yeah, I could die yeah. instantly. Here we go. Mm. Mm. Whoa. Mm. Marinara cheese and bugles. Woo! <laughs> You'll be the life of the party you walk in with this thing. <laughs> I'm gonna Sharp. go for another bite, I can't resist. There's an element of danger here, uh, lots of saltiness, a good crunch. I am really loving this. Will it pizza? Uh huh. Yes. Okay, that bugle pizza looked like something that could have been on the bottom of the ocean, but now we're actually gonna go to the ocean and come back with something raw and put it on a pizza. Sushi. 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 Will it pizza? I know that you are personally excited about this. I am not excited at all about this. You're such a big sushi fan. I do not like sushi. There's a lot of green on this. We have a wasabi sauce. Uh, that's basically the whole base is wasabi. And then we've got rainbow roll consisting of a couple of different types of fish. And then we just got the ginger just sort of laid in there on the top. Oh my gosh. I mean, what can go wrong? Well, I'm not gonna like it. That's one thing that's <laughs> gonna be guaranteed to happen. I'm thinking that the wasabi reaction is gonna be pretty strong based on the amount of green that I that I see, okay? Three, two, one. I'm gonna open a restaurant. Uh-uh. This is not bad at all. I'm gonna go ahead and tell you, this is not as bad as I thought it would because that toothpaste-y stuff. Wasabi? Is overpowering everything else. It's strong, it's good, it's got a nice kick to it. It's only been out for about three hours. Ladies and gentlemen, you've just witnessed the first time that I've eaten sushi with raw fish in it and not retched. It's well, still it's, in my mouth. You're, you're, you're chipmunking it right now though, <laughs> I can tell. Come on, All right, get it I down. Did, all right, I just turned over a new leaf. Well that's good enough for there us sushi to- sushi pizza underneath it. I think that's good enough for us to conclude. Will it pizza? Yes. yes. Okay, this next pizza is gonna take years to digest. Seven years to be exact. Bubble gum. Bubble gum. Will it pizza? Okay. Now this is a pretty pizza, people. I, think, I mean, look I, at this. I think you could satisfy a party, uh, probably for children. Oh yeah, I, I'm pretty excited about- what, what is the sauce under there? The sauce is, what? The sauce is marinara sauce. 
Oh, oh the, the sausage marinara, marinara, marinara sauce. Because it's a pizza. But the cheese is Big League Chew Big League shredded Chew. gum. Yeah, it's Two all, different flavors. Big and League Chew to- has always been asking to be cheese. The toppings are like super bubble and then like the type of gum that you, gumballs. Yeah. Um, My bet is this is gonna be a little tough to get down. <laughs> I think I'm gonna get the marinara and the bread down. Oh, man. Mm-hmm. Okay. Here we go. Let's do it. Ow. Marinara does not belong in this scenario. It's like gymnastics are happening in my mouth. I'm trying to get the edible ingredients around the gum. Mm. Oh gosh. But they're definitely being perverted by the gum. <laughs> <laughs> you fake me out, man. Mm. Okay, let's stress the positives here. Every time you take a bite out of this pizza, you get a mouthful of gum. This pizza could, will last all week. I could be eating this pizza for yeah. a month. Mm-hmm. I don't know, will it pizza, the, the gum part's really great. I don't think That's it will not pizza. Question. No. Will it pizza? Nah. nah. For this next one, we really had you single guys in mind. You're at home alone. You've got a pizza crust, and then everything in the door of your refrigerator. Condiments. 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 Will it pizza? This has a mayonnaise base, and then it's got all the condiments from a single man's uh, refrigerator. Ketchup, door. mustard, steak sauce, ranch dressing, hot sauce, and barbecue sauce. I mean. It looks good. I'm appetized already. I'm appetized. <laughs> now, if I were to smell this first, which I'm gonna do. Ooh. This is the kind of thing that you'd see at like uh, Wolfgang Puck's pizza. Hey, maybe it'll be good. The mayonnaise is pretty strong. I can let's smell get, it Let's already. give it a try. Three, two, burped. Tangy. Saucy. Ah. It's amazing how I can taste each one of those ingredients. I can really taste the mayonnaise. It's like mayonnaise, ranch, putrid. steak sauce, ketchup, Ugh. mustard. I'm on the verge of gagging. Hot sauce. It's layered. I. You know what? Mm. You this like it? Catch on on college campuses everywhere. Mm. Of course, I'm having trouble getting it down. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's almost like it's rotten. <laughs> <laughs> um, mayonnaise was a mistake. That's not the first time I've said that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we learned something. When you're gonna make your condiment pizza. Um, exclude mayonnaise. Exclude mayonnaise. Will it pizza? No. Okay, for this one we have our British friends in mind. They like to enjoy a spot of tea. Yeah. What about a whole pizza of, of tea. tea? Tea. Will it pizza? It's basically uh, cheese. Pesto. Oh, pesto. We got pesto and Pesto's cheese. Pesto's very aromatic. It goes yeah, with right. tea. I think we got a good chance here. A good chance of what? Of this pizza in. Oh, really? Yeah, and there's two different types of tea here. There's the ground up tea bag tea mm-hmm. as like a general base, and then there's like loose leaf tea on top of it. And you, and can, then, you can sprinkle additional tea to taste. <laughs> yeah, this is kind of like our Parmesan here. What happens in your intestines if you do this? You make tea in your stomach. Yeah, and then and then you could probably bottle and sell it if you knew how to catch it. Stomach tea. <laughs> now, I smell of this. Oh, it's very, oh, there's a fruit, there's a herbal in there. Yeah, it's. Earl Grey, maybe. Mm. All right, three, two, one. <laughs> Kinda crunchy. <laughs> oh. I, I take that back, it makes tea in your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I am not hating this. What? At all. Your mouth is broken, man. I like the crunch. <laughs> what is wrong with you? You need I, to be evaluated. <laughs> Golly! Really? <laughs> yeah. Oh! God. It's good. It's not good. Will it pizza? No! Yes. All right, I like the crunch of the tea. Um, but I don't know if I'm gonna like the crunch of this next one, but we thought we would give it a shot. What about beach sand? Oh yeah! Sand, will it pizza? Okay, um, this one is very decorative. Now, we started with some beach sand. Why did we start with beach sand? Why did we even start there? Just think of it like a paradise at the beach, like a beach vacation pizza. We've got beach sand, but then we also added Coconut. Well, coconut, you definitely associate that with the islands. And we put piles of sea salt on there. <gasps> so piles of sea salt and piles of beach sand with a little bit of coconut. And I've also got some drizzle here. Some um, drizzle. This is. Um, oh, suntan oil. Just a little bit of drizzle. Like a Hawaiian tropic a, situation. A little drizzle on mine, drizzle, drizzle. 
Mm. It smells very coconutty and very salty. It smells like a day at the beach. It smells like paradise. Actually, it smells like if you got in a fight at the beach. <laughs> yeah, that's what <laughs> you're about to feel let's like. Let's see how it tastes. Okay, here we go. Oh God. The crust is exquisite. How do you feel about the crunch on this one, Frank? Oh, the crunch is horrible. I might have to spit this out. I'm afraid I'll shrivel up and turn into a raisin if I swallow it. <laughs> oh, oh, gosh. Oh, man. We should call this riptide. You get caught in a riptide and they bring you back in and, they, yeah. and it's all this crap yeah, in yeah. your lungs. Yeah, you'll put it on the menu, but no one should ever order it. It's like, oh, it's, they, they'll never order it. Let's, let's like charge $80 rip, for it. Riptide. <laughs> Will it pizza? No! Okay, a lot of people think that we're stupid because of these eating challenges, uh, but we're not because we're about to eat brains. <laughs> brains. Will it pizza? All right, bring it in. All right. Isn't this stupid? No, but it's smart because it's got brains. Okay, all right, so we're calling this a zombie pizza. Here's the deal, just to set the stage here. The Let's sauce is congealed pig blood. The brains are pig brains, and in case that wasn't enough, we also have head cheese which I learned today. You gotta have cheese on a pizza. It's different parts of a cow's head inside the brain. Mushed together, mushed together into a cheese format. And then sliced. <clears throat> oh no. <laughs> you can't vomit before we eat it, man. And why are the slices so big? Hey, this pizza has thought, pig thoughts. And cow thoughts. And cow thoughts. Like, where's the food? It actually does it. <laughs> oh God, no. Okay, come on now. I hadn't really thought this through ahead of time. <laughs> Is that a pun? <laughs> no. Ain't nothing trying to be funny. <laughs> I don't know what I think about this one. Oh, come on, let's do it, man. I've really got to get angry at this. Who are we fooling, it. man? Right, 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 right. Come on! Oh, gosh, come on, come on, let's do a countdown. <laughs> I'm so angry at this pizza! Three, two, two one! Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's a hard part of it. <laughs> you make this difficult. Oh. Oh. I'm, oh. I'm shivering. You can do it, man. You can do it. I got a little bit now. Oh. Oh. Gosh. Okay. Now listen, I'm going to take off the protective barrier of my nose plug. Oh, I didn't have one of those. That's why you. There's bones in this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Paper towel, please. Yeah, put it in your mouth. Put the paper towel all the way in your mouth. That'll help. <coughs> I'm crying. Like, I have tears running down my face. Oh, oh, swallow that swish. Mm. Well, let's <laughs> I usually don't do that. <laughs> yeah, it would have gone. If something would have come out, it would have hit the ceiling, the camera, and that. Oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and answer the question. Will it pizza? No. Thanks for learning, for hanging with us, for liking and commenting on this episode. You know what time it is. I'm Ethan from Erie, Pennsylvania, and we're homeschoolers. And it's time to spin the wheel of mythicality! We've got an Instagram, and uh, we don't put any pictures of pigs' brains on there. But every Wednesday, we put waffles up for Waffle Wednesday. Think waffle thoughts. Click through to Good Mythical Tomorrow, where we invite the crew to enjoy some of these pizzas that have been created. Oh, so good. Interpretive dance. Okay, you want me to dance? Yeah, because I don't feel like dancing. Oh. Why don't you reinterpret uh, what we just what just happened? Ugh. The pig walks <laughs> around thinking pig thoughts. He thinks to himself, one day my brain will be turned into a pizza that will go on to an internet show where it is consumed by two imbeciles. And you know what? When I think about that as a pig, a pig who loves bud, a pig who loves to hang out with other pigs and eat scraps, I think it was all worth it. I don't know, I gagged right after. <laughs> you gagged after you spit it out? Oh, yeah. Oh! 
Yeah, my my my. Uh, Jen looked in the bucket. My bucket's got a lot of stuff in it. <laughs>